father. None know better than you how I have ever loved a life removed. Therefore, I have delivered to Lord Angelo, a man of stricture and firm abstinence, my absolute power and place here in Vienna. And he supposes me traveled to Poland. <laughs> <laughs> now, pious sir, you will demand of me why I do this. Gladly, my lady. We have strict statutes and most biting laws, which for these 19 years we have let slip. And now, as fond fathers, having bound up the threatening twigs of birch only to stick it in their children's sight for terror, not to use. In time, the rod becomes more mocked than feared. And so our decrees, dead to infliction, to themselves are dead. Liberty plucks justice by the nose, the baby beats the nurse, and quite a thwart goes all the court. It lies in you, my lady, to loose this tied up justice as you please, and it in you more dreadful would it seem than in Lord Angelo. You do fear me too dreadful. Since it was my fault thus to give the people scope, it would be my tyranny to strike them now. I have imposed the office on Lord Angelo, who may strike home, and to behold his rule, I would, as twere a brother of your order, visit both prince and people. Therefore, I prithee, supply me with a habit, and instruct me how I may formally in person bear me like a true friar. Lord Angelo is precise, scarce confesses that his blood flows, or that his appetite is more to bread than stone. And hence we shall see, if power changes purpose, what our seemers be. Thank you.